Never before have we been able to view the universe the way the James Webb Space Telescope is showing it to us now. Our naked eye would never be able to see what the telescope sees. Traveling through light and space, James Webb can see the origins of the universe, something our minds can hardly begin to grasp. This is the story of the strange alien planet that was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Welcome back to another space video. Today we'll be taking a look at the mysterious alien planet picture taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. So if you enjoy our content, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Working like a time machine, the first images shared by this powerful telescope on July 12th showed us far off galaxies, the death of stars, and the atmosphere of planets outside our solar system. The James Webb Telescope captured a highly detailed picture of the iconic Pillars of Creation, first made famous by images taken by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope in 1995, where new stars are being formed within dense clouds of gas and dust. The three-dimensional pillars look like rock formations, but are far more permeable. These columns are made up of cool interstellar gas and dust that appear, at times, semi-transparent in near-infrared light. Building on images taken in 1995 and 2014, Webb's new view of the Pillars of Creation will help researchers revamp their models of star formation by identifying far more precise counts of newly formed stars, along with the quantities of gas and dust in the region. Over time, they will begin to build a clearer understanding of how stars form and burst out of these dusty clouds over millions of years. On October 28th, NASA released a second image of the Pillars of Creation, this time as seen by Webb's mid-infrared instrument. It is haunting. In NASA's words, this exceptionally dusty rendering makes it both somber and chilling. That's because, while mid-infrared light specializes in detailing where dust is, at these wavelengths, the surrounding stars aren't bright enough to appear. Instead, these looming, leaden-hued pillars of gas and dust gleam at their edges, hinting at activity within, NASA explained. In images released by NASA in September, the nebula 30 Doradus can be seen showcased in all its glory. Nicknamed the Tarantula Nebula, it's a favorite of astronomers studying star formation as one of the largest and brightest star-forming regions in the galaxies nearest to our Milky Way. The Tarantula Nebula lies 161,000 light-years away in the Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy. It gets its name from the long, dusty filaments resembling spider legs in older images. The James Webb Telescope, however, captures the stellar nursery in new levels of clarity, showcasing tens of thousands of never-before-seen young stars that were previously shrouded in cosmic dust. The brown dwarf at issue is referred to by the designation VHS-1256b, and it can be seen in the southern sky in the constellation Corvus, which is often referred to as the Crow. It is around 72 light years away from Earth. It orbits around two insignificant red dwarf stars. Due to the fact that it produces a ruddy glow, astronomers have been unable to solve the riddle of this strange exoplanet ever since it was detected in 2016, the year it was discovered. They hypothesized that a particular atmosphere might be responsible for the glow that was observed. Forbes reported that observations taken by the James Webb Space Telescope have now corroborated these predictions, revealing that VHS-1256b must be shrouded in dense clouds that are loaded with sand-like silicate granules. Webb discovered that the atmosphere of VHS-1256b contains a variety of gases in addition to water, these include methane, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sodium, and potassium. In an email to Space.com, Brittany Miles, an astronomer at the University of California, Irvine, 
and the project's primary researcher said, We will know more from iterations on the data reduction. So far, it looks pretty similar to theoretical expectations. The web data were able to demonstrate that the ratio of the various gases varies throughout the atmosphere of VHS 1256B because they were so detailed. This was made possible by the fact that Webb collected the data. This suggests that the atmosphere is not calm, but rather turbulent and tumultuous rather than still. In a related story, the very first picture ever acquired of a planet outside our alien system was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope was responsible for capturing the mind-boggling images of the Tarantula Nebula. The astoundingly perfect Einstein ring was spotted and captured by cameras on the James Webb Space Telescope. Forbes cited Sasha Hinckley, an astronomer at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom, who is also one of the co-authors of the paper, saying that, in a calm atmosphere, there is an expected ratio of, say, methane and carbon monoxide. However, in many exoplanet atmospheres, we find that this ratio is very skewed, which suggests that there is a turbulent vertical mixing in these atmospheres, the researchers said. Because of this, carbon dioxide is brought up from the ground and combines with methane at higher altitudes in the atmosphere. Because VHS 1256b is a brown dwarf, its size suggests that the body is still most likely developing. This is indicated by the fact that the body is quite small. The exoplanet travels in an oval-shaped orbit around its two parent stars at a distance that is comparable to the distance between the Sun and the Earth. This particular orbit lasts for 17,000 years and has a duration of the same length. But in the end, it's all just a theory, and only time can tell what mysteries we'll discover on that planet. Webb's ability to pick up longer wavelengths of light allows scientists to pinpoint stars forming in regions such as the Phantom Galaxy M74. The image reveals masses of gas and dust in the galaxy's arms and a dense cluster of stars at its core. NASA has also released unprecedented observations of a planet outside our solar system, making use of the James Webb Space Telescope's powerful infrared gaze to reveal new details that ground-based telescopes would not be able to detect. The image of the exoplanet HIP 65426b, a gas giant about 6 to 12 times the mass of Jupiter, is the first time the Webb telescope has taken a direct image of a planet beyond the solar system. Taking direct images of exoplanets is challenging because the stars are so much brighter than the planets, says NASA. Located 355 light years from Earth, HIP 65426b is about 15 to 20 million years old compared to our 4.5 billion year old Earth. It is 100 times farther from its host star than Earth is from the Sun, so it is sufficiently distant from the star that Webb can easily separate the planet from the star in the image. But it is also more than 10,000 times fainter than its host star in the near-infrared, and a few thousand times fainter in the mid-infrared. Obtaining this image felt like digging for space treasure, says Aaron Carter, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of California, Santa Cruz, who led the analysis of the images. At first, all I could see was light from the star, but with careful image processing, I was able to remove that light and uncover the planet. NASA scientists have also released new shots of the solar system's biggest planet, describing them as quite incredible. The James Webb Space Telescope took the pictures back in July, capturing unprecedented views of Jupiter's northern and southern lights and swirling polar haze. Jupiter's great red spot, a storm big enough to swallow Earth, stands out brightly alongside countless smaller storms. One wide field picture is particularly dramatic, showing the faint rings around the planet, as well as two tiny moons against a glittering background of galaxies. We've never seen Jupiter like this, it's all quite incredible, 
said planetary astronomer M.K. de Potter of the University of California, Berkeley, who helped lead the observations. We hadn't really expected it to be this good, to be honest, she added in a statement. Do you think these predictions about alien life could be true? Let us know in the comments down below, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel.